Well, I'm just delighted to be here this morning to be patron of this uh, leadership summit because it seems to me that clean technology is really a very important tool in bringing about sustainability. You know, we've, uh, we've for years been faced with this possible collision between ecological damage, uh, a growing economy, and social consensus and social uh, um, citizenship. And it's, uh, it's been very difficult to make those three things move together in alignment uh, to the satisfaction of all. We've also just recently, of course, had the wonderful uh, event of the uh, uh, Climate Change Summit, and I think we're starting to leave the doubts about the science behind and really focus on very pragmatic approaches to dealing with the circumstances in which we find ourselves. So it's a wonderful time for clean and sustainable technologies to really be part of the answer to what we do going forward. I think clean and sustainable technologies um, are blessed by having people who uh, understand the science and the technology. Uh, they have CEOs and business leaders who are um, moving the technologies forward. Uh, I think they have governments who uh, understand that, that they have a need through sound policy development to create the ecosystems that will bring about uh, success, that will help to mobilize people. I think one of the things that we can't forget, however, is that it's all about people. And so no matter how good the science and technology is, if we don't have people on side, uh, to be able to take those technologies up, then we're going to be fighting all the way. There are risks, there are downsides, there are winners and losers, and somehow we help, have to help people make the trade-offs that are necessary. With any technology, uh, I think the implementation is the, uh, is the important challenge, and it's an Im implementation both at home and around the world. We have a wonderful opportunity to actually demonstrate Canadian developed technologies and to make them available to the rest of the world because we are facing the same challenges, climate change just being one of them. Canada has a real opportunity to be a leader uh, because we have uh, the scientists, the technologists, we have, who, who understand and develop those technologies. We also have uh, very uh, innovative leaders and CEOs, leaders of business, who uh, are eager to take those technologies global. Uh, we have a world that is waiting for possible solutions to the same problems that we face. And I think we also have uh, a history of being able to deal with a very diverse uh, population. You know, Ontario, I would say, is one of the most diverse uh, communities in the world. And so we know something about people-to-people -people relationships. We have connections in places around the world. And so filling a need, first of all, and then doing so in a way that is responsive and respectful to the to various cultures, I think is a, a real people advantage that we have. <music>